Hello and welcome to today's Bittrex 24 webinar HR Toolkit. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so first of all, some introductions for who are we? We are Bittrex 24 Gold Partners Interface. Uh, we're based in the UK, in the US and Hong Kong, and we offer a full range of services to help you with Bittrex 24, starting off with pre-sales support, so we can discuss your requirements and see if Bittrex 24 would be a good fit for your organization. We can then implement the system for you so we can set up the system and add any customizations you require to the software. If you're looking at a self-hosted edition of Bittrex, we do offer our own hosting services and we can provide you with training and ongoing dedicated support to help you get the very most out of Bittrex 24. Okay, so if you're new to the Bittrex 24 system, if you're coming to the webinar today to actually understand and learn more about what Bittrex 24 is, it is a collaboration suite of in excess of 40 tools now that help you in managing your business. And specifically today, we're going to be looking at the HR features that are available in the system. There are now more than, actually it's not 8 million, it's now 9 million organisations around the world that use Bittrex24 to help manage their businesses. And the system is available in two different editions. You have the Bittrex24 Cloud and the Bittrex24 Self-Hosted System. And prices start from $19 per month for a commercial cloud license and a self-hosted edition starts off from $1,490 as a lifetime license. Okay, so today's webinar is the HR Toolkit. So we're going to be looking at the different features within the Bittrex 24 system that you can use for your HR requirements and how you can manage your organizations within Bittrex 24. And within Bittrex, we have tools for finding employees, managing work time and personal areas where you can then store and manage contracts and appraisal documents. We'll look at how you can build self-service forms for managing different processes such as absence requests, expenses or purchase requests. We're able to build custom processes as well, such as if you're onboarding new starters into the system. So the HR tools within Bittrex, they do have lots of flexibility to allow you to build your very own rules and processes into the system. Okay, so first of all, before we go and look in at those processes in more detail, we're gonna have a look at an overview of some of the different HR tools that are available within the Bittrex 24 system. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the profile and company structure, and then we'll move on to some of the time management features. And we'll then also look at the personal drive areas where we can store documents. And after that, we're gonna look at how we can engage with employees. This is really important, especially with remote working, how we can interact, communicate and collaborate with the rest of our teams in the system. And then we'll look at some of the self-service forms and processes that are available. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the company structure. Okay, so we've just gone into our Bittrex 24 system. And the first thing to point out, every single user within the Bittrex 24 system has their own profile page. So you can see here in the top right hand corner, I have my Information, so Max Smith, that is the person who I am logged in as here on the platform. And I can go into my profile area and this will open up my very personalized page where I can store all the information about myself. So we can see here, this opens up the profile page and I can see all of my details. So on the left hand side, there is an image and those can be real images. So on our demonstration site here, we have some avatar images. Those could be real pictures. So 
for each person in your business, you can have their picture on the system. And that can be help to familiarize the rest of the team with those users on the system. Then on the right hand side, we've got all of the contact information about the user. And the contact information here, you're able to add your own pieces of information. So you can create your own custom fields. So you can then capture any certain types of details or information that you would like to display in this page. So for example, here, for example, we've got an emergency contact name in the system. And at the top, we also have some links to open up into the different areas of the Bittrex 24 system. So if I just show you, for example, I could click on the drive area and this will open up the drive module that I have in the Bittrex 24 system. So within your profile page, you have shortcuts to some of the different features of the Bittrex 24 system. Okay, so that's a look there at the individual user's profile. Just below that here as well, we can see who else is online within the Bittrex 24 system. So we can see here, we currently have two users who are clocked into the Bittrex 24 system. So that's quite a useful way just to visually see who else is on this system and who I might want to communicate with as they're also available on the platform. As well as an individual profile for each user, we also have the company structure. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to build out your different departments, the different types of areas within your organization. You can add those into the Bittrex 24 system by adding departments. So in this display here, we can see all of the departments of our company. And it can be multiple departments that you have embedded within an overall overarching department. So we can see here under field consultants, we have an Arizona sub department, California and Florida there. And within each department, you can add multiple users. So you can see all of the different users in their departments and the user can be added to more than one department. And that can be quite a common occurrence. You may have a certain person who is maybe overarching into several departments. So for example, in our IT team, we've got John, and he's also part of the field consultants team as well in that department structure. We also have an employee directory. So this is really useful if you want to have an overall directory page where you can see all of the information about the rest of your employees in the system and this block of information this table that you can see this can be customized so we can move different features around and i can also turn on or turn off certain fields that we would want to display so it may be for example you want to display every single uh, country for the employee so you may have people working in different countries you could turn on the country field and that would display what country they are located in so that's a really useful way to customize the employee directory and at the top here you also have a search tool so if you wanted to search through here to find a certain employee you have the ability to free text search or filter through your employee directory and i can click on that user there and it will open up their profile page. So I can go into here and see Mark's profile and I can use the communication tools that are available in Bittrex. So for example, I could open up a chat with Mark, for example. So I can now start to communicate with Mark. So we can do instant messaging. We can also do video calls and voice calls. So there are three different ways you can communicate with any of your employees in the Bittrex 24 system. And you will have a history of all of that communication. So if you ever wanted to search back in the conversation, you have the ability here to search through the system. And it doesn't just have to be an individual chat. You can do project chats, for example. You may want a whole department chat. So you can set up your own custom groups in here so you can have conversations with select people or with departments. 
So you can have all of those different chats and conversations having taken place directly in your Bittrex 24 system. Okay, so that's a look at the employee area where we can add our company structure and employees. One other feature just to mention in here, we've mentioned how you can search in the employee directory. You can also use the universal search tool at the top of this page. So if I wanted to, I could search through the system and find Mark directly through the universal search. And it won't just find you the employee here, but it will also show all the conversations you've had with Mark. So it will tag every single element of what you're searching for. So the universal search is a very useful feature to quickly find an information or an item that you are searching for in the system. Okay, so that's a look at the profile and company structure. We'll move on now to look at the time management and reporting features. So first of all, with the Bittrex 24 system, this is available on the professional cloud edition and all the self-hosted editions. You have the ability to clock in and clock out. So what this allows you to do is to record your working day in the Bittrex 24 system. So I'm currently clocked into the platform, but it could be if I'm going to take a break, I can then hit the break button and that will now start to log the amount of time that I have been on break for, for this working day. Okay, so once I've come off my break, I can then continue with my working day. I could select what tasks I'm currently working on and I can also add a summary. So we could add a, a report at the end of the day for what we have completed in the system. And that report can then go to my supervisor who can score the report. Okay, so that report, you can also schedule those. So it could be you want your employees to enter their reports every day, or it could be every week or every month. You can customize how often a user has to produce that report. And when you're using that work time feature, that time will then get logged and this will go into the time and reporting module. So predominantly, this would be for your HR department who are going to be analysing the data from the clock in and clock out features. So if we go into our work time area, you can see here, for example, I can see Max Smith. We currently have a filter on here. So if we just take this filter off, you'll see it will open up for the entire organisation here. So you can filter and create filters in here to see maybe if you want to look at certain users or departments, or you can just see the entire organization. When people are clocking in, it will show a breakdown for each day in the platform here. So we can see today, uh, Max Smith, when they clocked in, how long they've been on break for, and we can see right now they haven't currently clocked out of the system. So they are continuing to work for this given day. Okay, so let's look at the work time area section of the system. In terms of clocking in, so that's looking at the overall clocking in for the, the working day and how that feeds into your time and report section. You're also able to clock into individual tasks. So within Bittrex24, you can be creating and assigning tasks to people in your organization. And within a task itself, I've just opened up the task page. This shows you in here how you can start to record the individual amount of time that you are spending on tasks in the system. So we can see now I've started to work on this task and that's now logging that time directly in this task page. Okay, and you can see a full audit history of all of the time that has been spent on those tasks in the system. Okay, so let's look at some of the time management and reporting features. Later on, we'll have a look at the mobile application and how we can use the clock in and clock out feature on the mobile app as well. Okay, moving on now, we're going to look at the personal drive area. So within Bittrex 24, you have your own drive space. So this allows you to store your own documents. So this could be contracts or maybe appraisal documents. This is your own personal drive space within Bittrex 24. So nobody else is able to access this specific area of the system. But what we can do on any of these folders or files, 
what we can do is allow certain people to have access to those. So for example, on this specific folder, I'm going to give certain people access to this area of my personal drive. So it could be, for example, my manager I want to give access to, or it could be a certain department that I work in. So you can decide who is able to access any of the information that is stored in your personal drive space. So I'm gonna give Jim access to this particular folder, and I'm gonna grant full access in this folder. So you can customize actually what level of access they have on that area of the system. Okay, so we've just configured that permission settings. And within here, we can upload folders and files. We can integrate with external applications such as Google Docs. And a new feature Bittrex24 has released last week is the ability to edit documents with multiple users directly in the Bittrex24 system. So if you integrate with one of these platforms such as Google Docs, what you would be able to do now is the ability to edit documents and another user can also edit that document at exactly the same time. So that's a new in, in integration that is available if you do integrate with one of those platforms in the drive area. Okay, so let's look at your personal drive space. We also have what we call the company drive. And this is really your company library where you can store all of the folders and files for the entire organization. And once again, in the company drive area, we can set permissions. So you may set permissions maybe for certain departments, for example. So inside here, we allow the HR department and the IT department to access this specific folder. So that's quite a useful feature. If you're gonna have a group of people that you want to grant access, you can have the whole departments able to access those folders in the system. And with any documents that you do store inside here, what we are able to do is we can view those documents. If we've integrated, for example, with Google Docs, I can edit the documents. And a really nice feature is the ability to see any changes that have been made. So inside here, you get a full revision history of all changes that are made to those documents inside the system. And it could be maybe if, if a, an error was made on the document, you can restore back to a previous version. Okay, so that's a look at the company drive. So we've stored some documents inside here. And another feature you do have is the ability to run business processes on documents. So it could be, for example, if we upload a document, we want somebody to approve this uh, before it's able to be accessed by other users. So inside here, we have a first approval process. So we're gonna send this to my manager to approve that document. So we can run business processes directly off a document. Okay, so that's a look there at the drive module. Now we're going to move on to how we can engage with our employees. So this is really important, especially with many people remote working, people aren't in the office, able to communicate and chat directly in the office. So Bitrix24 has many tools that allow you to engage with your employees in different styles. So we've already seen how you can do instant chats, voice calls and video calls with other users in the system. What you can also do is you can post different types of messages in the feed area here. So this is really what we call the activity stream. So this will show you all of the posts, any, any really association that you have to something within Bittrex24 will be added to your personal newsfeed area. So it's like your own personal newsfeed board. And within here, you can type out messages. So I can send a message to a certain user or to a group of people or to departments or to everybody within the Bittrex24 system. So I can add a message here. I might want to attach some documents or maybe even add a link or a video. It could be that I even want to record a video. 
So this could be useful for maybe sales teams. If you want to discuss sales for the, for the month, I could record a video and send this to all of the sales team. And we could then have a conversation about that video. So I can add the message into here and I'm going to send this out to all of our employees and that will then be added to their activity stream. And once that post has been added, you're able to collaborate with people on that specific post. So inside here, for example, I'm just going to go into one of our other users. I'm just going to go into their activity stream. And you can see here now that post has been added. I'm going to like this. And I'm also going to add a comment back. So it allows for every user to communicate and collaborate with you on any posts that you add in the system. And there are different types of posts that you can create. So maybe you want to create a poll. So if you want to add maybe certain uh, a question and you want to get people's answers or feedback, you can add polls into here. So you can make it quite fun and interactive with the rest of your teams. So if I just go into our favorite items in the system, you're able to filter through all of the information in your activity area. And for example, if we just go down here, we can see a poll that was conducted in the system here and we can see what the result was. So there's lots of different types of posts that you can run in the system. Another quite useful one in terms of employee engagement, it could be an appreciation. So what we can do with an appreciation is we can send a, a badge to either a group of people or to a certain person who's done a good job. So I can select the badge from here and I can select the employee. And I can then also select who I want to make aware that this person is getting a badge for maybe a, a good job. So I'm gonna send this out to Mark, he's gonna get a new badge. And I'm going to make everybody within the business aware that Mark is getting this appreciation. So this is a really useful way to engage with employees in your system. With and if we just open up that new post into here now, we can see that badge that I've now received in the system. So it's a nice way to recognize people who are working with you in your organization. Okay, so that's a look at the different types of posts that we can run in the system. One other type of post that could be important, especially during these age where there's lots of new announcements that can take place almost on a daily basis, and those could be quite critical messages. You can also create an announcement. And an announcement can be pinned to the top of the, the feed area for a certain amount of time. And we can force the user to mark that they have read that message. So inside here, for example, I'm going to add this announcement for up to a week. I'm going to say the office is closed tomorrow for cleaning. So this is quite an important message that we need to make sure users have read and understood. So I'm going to add that message into here. And the difference with an announcement is you can force that person to mark that they have read that message. So when we go into this users area now, you can see that is now being pinned at the top. So we can see the message has been pinned and we can force the user to mark these messages as read. So we can actually there, we can see I'm clicking that I've read and understood that message and it will even show then who has read those messages. So this is a really useful feature to make sure those critical messages have been read and understood by the rest of your organization. One other feature in terms of employee engagement, we also have what we call the company pulse. And the company pulse, it gives an overview of which areas of the system the users are using the most in your Bittrex 24 platform. And you can search by individual users or the whole company. And so you can see then here, maybe which areas of Bittrex are maybe being underutilized. So this is really useful because you might then want to send out a message. So we might say actually the mobile app is not being used very much. So let's actually send a message to the rest of the organization to start using that platform. 
So the mobile app is a really useful feature. We could add this message to the rest of the organization and hopefully now they will start to use this application more within the system. So that's a really useful feature, just having a look at the company pulse to see which areas of your Bittrex 24 system are being utilized. Okay, so let's just check if we have any questions about any of those features. Okay, so how does Bitrix 24 make sure that employees take a break but does not use the break feature? And how do you make sure that they are being truthful with their clock ins? So, I guess in terms of being truthful, you have to hopefully make sure that they are using the feature appropriately. So, when they are clocking in, they are clocking in when they're in the system. In terms of if we just go into the town and reports area, you can create schedules. So what you can do is you can create a schedule. So maybe a user can't clock in until a certain time in the system. So if we go into our schedule area, what we can do in here, we can set schedules. So for example, here, the user is working from nine till five and is allowed a one hour break in the system so if they had a break and their break time actually it ran over one hour we can then create what we call a violation so you can track those violations directly in the system so if somebody say for example had a break for over one hour you might want to be notified so we can set who is going to be notified about those violations in the system here and it could be for example if they um have not clocked in so we could have a strict violation here if they've not clocked in by 9.05, then we're going to have a notification go to the manager so they can now start to understand why this user has not clocked in on time. So you can set those notifications and violations in the system. Obviously, when a user is clocking in, then obviously that, there's nothing you can control about that when a user clocks in is when they clock in but we can set those notifications really if they're not clocking in at the time that you want them to uh, another question here about is the webinar being recorded yes this webinar will be recorded and you will be sent a recording of this within 24 hours okay Okay, do the badges when you have an appreciation show anywhere apart from the feed area? So yes, they do. So if we just go into a user's profile page, you'll see that those badges are actually added within that person's profile. So if I just come down here, for example, within this person's profile, we can see all of those appreciations in their page. And you can click on that each individual appreciation and see what that message was, why it was awarded to that person. So yes, you can see all of that detail within the platform here. Okay, if there are any other questions, please do add them into the chat box and we'll run through those before the end of the webinar today. Okay, moving on from the overview there of the HR tools. Now we're going to look at some examples of the workflows that are available within the Bitrix 24 system. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the HR absence request workflows that you can run in the system. So this is really useful if you want to be able to manage people's leave directly in the Bitrix 24 system. We have a workflow that enables you to manage that directly in the platform. Okay, so we've just gone back into our feed area. And the first area we're gonna to go to here is into the workflow section. So underneath the announcement area, we have our workflow area. And this then opens up the selection of workflows that we can use. So we want to manage an absence request. So I'm going to be going on holiday. So I want to add that holiday leave into the system. And I want my manager to approve this. So I'm going to select the request leave form. And this now opens up the request leave form 
that I need to complete. In this form, it is customizable. So if you wanted to maybe add um, some more fields into this form, maybe you want to add a, attach a document into here, then you can make those mandatory. So you can see what mandatory fields are. This one here, the selector file, we've not made as mandatory, but you could do, and you could add additional fields into here as well to capture more information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out this form and it will then be sent over to my manager who will either approve or reject my request. So I'm going to add this now into here. So I'm going to select when I want to have this holiday and have a full day. I'm going to add a reason. OK, and we've got the absence type there as annual leave. And I'm going to submit that now in the Bitrix system. Okay, so that's now been processed from myself. So I have submitted that form. And what I will do now is if we just go into my manager's profile, we'll see now I have received a new workflow. So I now have received this request leave form from Max. And I now need to approve or reject this in the system. So I'm going to have a look at the, the full details here. So I can see from the 6th of July to the 7th of July. So it's two full days. And I can now either approve or reject Max's request. So I'm going to be nice here. I'm going to approve that request in the system. OK, and I've received, Max has received a notification. So my holiday has been approved. And if we go back into the time and reports area, we'll see that now that holiday leave has been added into the absence chart. So if we go to July, I can see the 6th to the 7th, my holiday leave has been authorized and it has now been added into the absence chart. So the absence chart will show you across all of your organization, all of your departments, the annual leave or if it's sick leave, for example, it doesn't just have to be something that's been approved as a, a holiday leave. It will show you all of the absences across the organization. So this is a really useful way to just picture what availability you have across your organization and also for historical purposes to see when somebody was away or absent from the organization. That's the front end of the process. Now let's just take a look at the workflow that is used to actually create that holiday leave process. So we can see the, the different workflows that we have in the system. And we were looking at there the request leave process. Okay, so if we just go back into our workflow area, I'm just going to show you how that process is managed using the business process designer. Okay, so this is the back end of the Bitrix 24 system. And we're in what we call the business process template area. And this is basically what is used to manage the front end of that process. So we submitted our holiday leave on that form and that was then automatically sent over to my manager. And when my manager received that, they had to either approve or reject that holiday request. And it was approved, which meant it then got added to the absence chart. So there's several different layers to that request. There's different actions that had to take place. And the way that was managed and constructed is using this process designer. So first of all, we, we at the top here, we requested that leave. It then was sent to my supervisor. And once it was sent to my supervisor, they had to either approve or they had to reject that leave request. So what we did was we approved it and then the system checked that status to see if it was approved or rejected. And it was approved. So actually it goes down this left hand side of the process. 
So we were notified that the absence request was approved and then it got added to our absence chart. So we saw how that had been added into the system. But if that request was rejected, none of that would take place. That request would not have been added into the chart area. All we would have done is gone down this right hand side of the process. So we would have been notified the request had been denied. Okay, so that's a look at the process and the actual process designer here, you're able to build out your very own processes using these action blocks on the right hand side. So it could be, for example, maybe I want to create a task actually, once the supervisor has approved it, maybe we need to do something else before it gets added to the chart. So I could add a task into here, or maybe we want another layer of approval. So I could add another approval layer into this process. So you're able to build out your very own custom workflow processes using the business process editor tool. Now, if you are on the self-hosted edition of Bittrex 24, we do have a, a custom plugin that we can apply to your system, which allows you to manage toil in the platform. So if you want to set a, a leave entitlement, for your employees, you can actually set up an allowance. So as standard, the Bittrex 24 system doesn't allow you to set annual, say, holiday allowances in the system. What we have is a custom plugin that we have developed, and this allows you to add an annual leave entitlement for every user in the Bittrex 24 system. So what we have here is the absence management chart. So what we can do is we can add an entitlement for every user. And then when they have their holidays approved in the system, this information will get added into the chart here. So I can see, for example, Max Smith, he currently has nine holiday days booked and they've been approved in the system. There are currently two pending. So those are waiting to be approved. And then it will show us what is the remaining balance for this user. So that's calculated looking at the annual entitlement minus what has already been approved and booked in the system. So we can see that Max has 12 days remaining that they can use as their balance. So once that has been used up, then if they try to request additional leave in the system, it would instantly be rejected because they have no remaining balance. And if there is a remaining balance at the end of the, the holiday year, for example, we can actually roll that entitlement over to the next holiday year. So this is a really nice additional feature that we have built to add on to the leave process in Bittrex 24. So if you are on a self-hosted edition and you're interested in the additional feature here that's available, please do get in contact and we can demonstrate this and discuss this in more detail with you. One of the features that the custom plugin that we have developed would give you is within the user's profile page, they would also be able to see that remaining leave entitlement information. And they would also see what holiday has been approved and what's pending. And for any pending holiday, they could actually cancel that request in the system. So that's an additional feature available through our custom plugin. So moving on from the leave approval and that business process, we're now gonna have a look at quite a new feature within Bittrex 24. And this is the robotic process automation tool. Okay, so we're just gonna go into one of our other systems and I'm gonna look at the robotic process automation module. So what the robotic process automation tool allows you to do is it allows you to build your very own custom workflows directly in the system. And it uses a lot of the functionality that is available within the CRM module. So if you've used the CRM system, especially the leads and deals entities with the stages, you may be quite familiar with how this looks and feels. So what Bittrex 24 did is they built a new module to simplify the, the process of creating workflows in the system. So inside here, for example, we have an, an expenses workflow. So what we do here is we've created some stages. 
So you can create as many stages as you like. You simply select how many stages here. And once you have created those stages, we can then put automation rules in place to actually construct the workflow. So for example, here we have a very simple expense workflow. So if somebody is to submit an expense, it will start off at the submit expense stage. And then once that information has been inputted, we're going to automatically move it to that user supervisor and it will go to the supervisor approval stage. And then based on that supervisor's decision, if it's approved or rejected, it will then go into one of these specific stages, which we can then use for reporting purposes. So if I wanted to submit a new expense, what I can do is I can open up the submit expense film and this will open up a form that I now need to complete. And this form, again, is completely customizable. You can add whichever field you would want to have for every single workflow you create. You can also decide what are mandatory fields inside the system. And we can then start to work our way through completing this form. So I'm going to add a new expense into here. So we're going to say we've bought a new table. I'm going to say it's $250 and this was purchased today. So I'm going to add that information into the system. Okay, so I've added the information to the form and I'm now going to save that. You can see automatically now that has gone to my supervisor. So it's automatically gone to the supervisor approval stage. So we can now have a look at this in the system. So we'll just open up one of our supervisors, Bitrix 24 systems. Okay, we're gonna go into the robotic process automation area. And we can see all the different workflows. I can see what has been assigned to me. So I have three assignments that I need to work my way through. So I can see all of those in the system here, and I can now start processing through those pieces of information. So that, that process, so we submitted the table expense that has come through to my manager here, and we can see that form in the system. And I can now either approve or reject that expense. So I'm gonna approve that expense for them. And if we go now back into the platform, I can see I've received a notification that the expense has been approved. And if I go to our completed area, we can then see that table expense is in the authorized expenses. And if I open up that page, you have a full audit history of all of the information about that particular workflow. So you can see once it was created, when it was approved, you can also add comments. You might want to upload additional documents or information. So maybe I, I upload a receipt into this area and it's all associated back to that specific expense. So this is a really nice, easy way to view all of the history associated to that specific workflow. Okay, so that's a look at how we can use the robotic process automation tool. Now let's just have a look at the Bitrix 24 mobile application to see how we can use the features to log in and record our working day in the Bitrix 24 system. Okay, so we're just going to connect. Okay, so what we'll do now is open up the mobile app. So we can see here, this is the Bitrix 24 mobile system. So some of the features that we've, we've looked at today, such as work time management, we can see that amount of time that's been recorded in the system. I'm actually going to clock out now so I can see all of that in the platform. You're able to see all of your drive area, so all of the documents in the platform. I can see all of my employees and I can chat to them directly in the Bitrix24 system. 
those notifications we saw earlier on, I can see that holiday was approved. That's been notified and I've received that in the mobile application. Some of those chats we were having earlier on, I can see those in the system here. And I can also then communicate through the chat system on the mobile app. So I'm going to send Mark another message. And we can also do the video calling and the voice calling on the chat system here as well using the mobile app. So that's a look at some of the different features on the mobile application. So that comes included with the Bitrix 24 license. So you're able to use this on the go. So you don't need to be on your laptop or computer. You can use the Bitrix mobile app to manage your HR requirements. Okay, let's just see if we have any more questions. Okay, so for time attendance, is it possible to know the location where the user has logged in from? So as standard, no, it, it's not possible to be able to see what location the user has logged in from. What we can do with a, a self-hosted edition, we can build a customization using IP addresses to help locate where those users are logging in from. So if that's a critical requirement, we would need to use a self-hosted edition. Uh, and please email sales at interface.com and we can look into that customization with you in greater detail. Okay, so sorry, just another question there. So can you point out can you point out the resources where we can learn more about automations and understanding the technical know-how of creating automations? Okay, so really in answer to your question there, that's where really we come in as a, a gold partner of Bitrix24. We have a specialist support and training team. So what we can do is we can provide you with bespoke training on using the automations, such as the business process designers and the robotic process automation tools. We can train you and also provide ongoing dedicated support to help you in implementing your specific processes. So really what I would recommend doing is contacting sales at interface.com and we can arrange a meeting with you to discuss your requirements in more detail and see what best process there is to help you with creating those automations and helping you learn how to use these different tools within Bitrix 24. Okay, so in summary today, we've looked at how we can create a profile for each user in the system and where we can store information about that user. And that then flowed into the company structure where we can see all of the users across the entire organization. And we can use the employee directory to quickly search for any specific user in the system. And through those channels, we can instantly chat, video call and voice call any of our employees directly in the Bitrix 24 system. We looked at the time management features where we can clock in and clock out and record our working day using the time management features. That then flowed into the personal drive areas where we can store files and folders and set access rights for who is able to access those documents within our personal drive space. Following that, we looked at the employee engagement tools, which are critically important right now with remote working. So the different ways we can communicate with our colleagues through posts, announcements, even appreciations to help recognize good achievements in the platform. And then we looked at some of those self-service forms, such as through leave approvals and expenses, using the business process designer and the robotic process automation modules. So it allows us to build out our very own custom processes using the Bitrix 24 system. Okay, so coming soon, here are a selection of the future webinars. So we will be live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So hopefully you will be able to join us for those future webinars. 
If you do have any questions in the meantime, please do email sales at interface.com and we will set up a meeting with you to discuss your requirements in more detail. But thank you very much for joining today. I hope you found the HR Toolkit demonstration and webinar useful today.